you know, some of my earliest memories from grade school are just not being the cool kid. I remember seeing the cool kids. In fact, I remember her name was Kyla Cachado, and she was so cute. I think we must have been in like fourth grade, something like that. And I had a crush on her, but of course I got picked on by the other kids, just like so many others do. I left that school, ended up wandering to a couple of different schools, ended up in Hillsboro. Don't remember much of that school, except there were a lot of Mexican kids in my neighborhood that picked on me and would put dirt clods on my back out in the field, make me count to a thousand, things like that. And I finally got out of there. My parents ended up getting divorced, so I went to live with my dad. We moved to Oregon City. So I had one more year of grade school left. It was sixth grade. Got to the school, spent about a week there before somebody came up to me and said, Hey man, so-and-so wants to beat you up. I said, what? He's like, yeah, the school bully wants to fight you. And he was this like big guy. Uh, don't know why. I don't know if any of you have seen the movie Three O'Clock High, but um, it, that was a classic in the 80s when I was a kid. And uh, it was kind of like, uh, yeah, the bully that never says anything that wants to beat you up. So every day I'd try to get out and slip back through the fence to get to my apartment before he fucked with me. And that went on for some time. And eventually, I never ended up being confronted by the guy. Somehow I got out of that school. My dad and I moved to a place called Lake Oswego. It's kind of a yuppie area. But uh, there was a cheap, what they call the first edition, where you could actually get a reasonably priced house. So we found, well, I think, one there that was, I believe, I think it was like 410, 420 bucks or something like that back in the day. And uh, pretty cheap for a house rental, except everybody else in the whole city had money. So when I went to junior high, I didn't have any friends. I ended up meeting one guy named Mike on the bus and said, hey, you want to ride bikes? And so we rode bikes. And we ended up hanging out for quite some time and uh, becoming best friends all the way through uh, all the way through high school, but um, as soon as, you know, within the first year of junior high, I had the same problem, another guy picking on me, and uh, his name was Alex, and he'd push me and call me whore, because my last name's Orr. This went on all year, and continued into the first week of the second year, uh, before I just turned and pushed him, then he decked me, then I put him in a headlock, and we ended up fighting, and I kind of whipped his ass. And uh, the rest is history. He never talked to me. We didn't talk till the end of the year. But I uh, constantly had, you know, uh, these guys teasing me, especially the jocks, even leaving me some laundry soap in the... Uh, if you go to my junior high yearbook, uh, they, they both left me laundry soap to wash my per Persian Gulf Yacht Club shirt. <laughs> because I didn't have a lot of clothes, so I'd wear the only cool shirt I had. So I moved to high school across the street, continue on with the same problem of being harassed, end up getting kicked out of the school, going to an alternative school and doing really well because I finally related to the people. All the while, this whole time, from junior high on, having the worst case of acne you can imagine, so I had zits constantly and uh, looked like crap, especially with my mullet, didn't do me any justice, but... I'm not here to complain. I'm just groveling about my childhood and the problems I had in school to say that I turned out just fine, and most people will. We coddle our children. Bullying is a problem. Harassing each other is a problem. But these days it's so much worse because people can attack you online, they can do it anonymously. Fortunately, People are, you know, stepping up to the plate and trying to do th do something about it. You know, there have been many anti-bullying campaigns. The question is, do they work? Or are we better off just letting bullies be bullies? I mean, I'm not saying let people beat each other up and harass each other. But rather, instead of, you know, trying to catch people in the act, try to teach our kids to stand up for themselves and be a little tougher. You know, so many parents will say, well... You know, don't don't mind what a bully says, but if they corner you, whoop their ass. I mean, most dads out there will inform their kids to stand up for themselves. Yeah, I feel like, you know, all dads want to do the best they can for their kids. And I think most dads <clears throat> would tell the child to stand up for themselves if they're being bullied. 
but there are some Karens out there who would, you know, try to call the kid's parents. It just ends up making it worse for the kid, depending on how bad it is. But letting a kid deal with their own problems can, you know, build a lot of character, you know, and develop, you know, an ability for the person to deal with their own shit. And uh, so I know that a lot of kids have problems in school. Uh, my kids have had their share. And, uh, you know, especially my teenager, he knows to stand up for himself. You know, if somebody's messing with him, say what you got to say. But there's only so much you can really do because, you know, fighting is not acceptable. But fisticuffs were a way that people resolved their problems back in the day. So I'm not sure what the answer is. I just know that you do have to be somewhat tough. And you have to teach your kids to be tough if they're going to cope with the bullshit out there. To not put up with the bullies, to put them in their place so they stop bullying in the first place. That's what I did with my bully, and he left me alone after that. We ended up being friends, and we talked a few years later um, on Facebook. Well, a couple decades later, I guess. Anyway, that's my story and my thoughts on, you know, growing up and being picked on and bullied. And uh, it's not going to make you a weak person unless you choose to. And... Uh, so, toughen your way through it. Talk to you all next time. Be well.